Light Robe Daily Transformation for the Bold. Get it done. We all have a satisfaction associated with doing something that somebody finds useful. You know, there are thousands, literally thousands of self-help courses and motivation courses and motivational speakers and people that will motivate you or help you and overcome barriers and blocks and obstacles and mental dance. You know, I call that the motivation, motivate or the mindset and the mechanics. You know, there's mechanics of getting things accomplished and then there's the mindset, right? And the truth is the mechanics of getting things done aren't really that hard you may or may not know how to do something at a given time. You know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But finding out is not difficult. Uh, it used to be hard to find out. I, I'll use something silly. When I was a kid in, the, in, in, in the middle school, <clears throat> I got infatuated with uh, chemistry. And I used to want to, you know, learn to make gunpowder and, you know, firecrackers and whatever, typical kid stuff. And it was, it was actually kind of hard to find out how to do it. You know, encyclopedias and some were vague and, and, and you really had to do some research to find out how to do some things, right? And today it's easy, you can find out how to do anything. The other day I needed to update uh, the BIOS on uh, a computer and I was able to YouTube uh, how to update the BIOS on the, such and such a motherboard and there it was in great detail with exactly the motherboard I wanted and it was an esoteric gaming one. I'm not a gamer but in the studio and in the video uh, editing I use high power computers and so I wanted a you know, high powered motherboard that are like the ones gamers use. And sure enough, there was two, actually not just one but two videos on exactly how to update the BIOS on that particular esoteric motherboard. Finding out how to make things, do things, accomplish things is easy. And on top of that, there are thousands, tens of thousands of people dying to sell you information and give it to you for free. Mostly you can get it for free. Information is free. The information on how to do something. There's two things that are not free. One is often we buy information hoping the information itself solves the problem. Meaning that just knowing what, how to do something will then make it suddenly just happen. Like, or so easy that it's almost like that, right? That's like watching a video about push-ups and expecting to get buff arms. Not going to happen. No amount of reading will increase my push-up count. But somehow we think in other areas, marketing, sales, personal development, that that's going to happen without the, the same hours that you would have taken on the floor in the gym working out. It doesn't happen. This, today's video I titled, Get It Done. And no matter how much time and work you spend on the mindset, there's always going to be the get it done, the start, the get in and pick up the screwdriver, pick up the pen, pick up the course you bought and actually carry out every single module. Do everything that is there to do. And let's pretend you bought information that was up to date, current and from someone that was absolutely forthright and honest about every thing they did to make something work, learning how to knit or building a business online or whatever it was. It, it's <laughs> song interruption. I'm in the middle of working in the studio, which is of course something I, I do all the time anyway. And something was rendering and I didn't know it was going to autoplay. So there it is. Get it done. You know what I'm doing? I'm getting it done because in the middle of this, there was a, a lengthy saving process that takes uh, five minutes. Holy cow. Five minutes to save something. Sure enough because I'm pretty far in the, you know, pretty far in the process. So it's a lot of processing power. And guess what? Got done and played in the middle. But you know what? Rather than sit here and stare at the computer screen for three or four minutes while it does whatever it's doing, I'm getting it done. And the get it done is the hours spent doing. Not the hour spent wishing, thinking, educating, reading, it's actually doing. Now, many of you have been down here before, you've seen my, my grand piano over there. It's a nice Yamaha C7, which is a seven foot six studio grand that is used on lots and lots of recordings. And then there is a size bigger, there's a nine foot concert grand, and I had one of those for 20 years. I had a Steinway D, which is, you know, the top. I mean, the Steinway D, they're in 90, Five to 97% of the world's concert halls have Steinway D's. Most popular concert piano in the world. I had one for 20 years, but you know what? It didn't matter. 
unless I spent the hours on the bench poring over the music and exercising the fingers and articulating the passages and clearly doing the work, I wasn't going to master the music. And I, I sold that one after 20 years, figuring I, I had one, right? I had the pinnacle for 20 years, and it didn't really fit here in the studio. It'd be just a little bit too long over there. And so I, I measured it, and I thought, you know what? I had a C7 before I had the D 20 years ago. And so I decided to go back to a C7, so I sold the D and I put it into a really nice home of a great pianist. I got to meet him, I got to hear him play, and so he's going to take good care of it. And I was excited about where it landed, and then I got another uh, C7, which was my favorite before that one, and so I'm, I'm happy. But my point about it is the work. The work here in the studio, the hours doing the music and the vocals and the mixing and all of the technical stuff, the hours on the bench practicing, the hours in di whatever discipline that you want to be an expert at, the hours on working on a relationship or working on your personal development. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Sometimes there's a problem getting started, and I did one of these videos a while ago about how to get started. There's all kinds of tricks about how to trick yourself to stop thinking about the difficulty and just start a little bit. I use them. Sometimes I start a, something I have to do late at night when I can only do a little bit, but it's started, and so that barrier of getting started is over, and I like that, and that's a good way for me. Then the next day, it's like I'm not starting, and I'm already in the middle of it. I just open it, and oh yeah, I pick up where I left off, right? And that creates a difference for me, but nothing matters unless I open it again, and I go, oh yeah, I'm in the middle of it, and I keep going, and so the daily transformation for the bold message. It really is for the bold because it is the bold person who says, you know, I actually have to do the work. I have to connect with the drive and passion, the reason I wanted to do it, whatever it was. Create a painting, you know, all those paintings. I've done a hundred something of those paintings and I've sold some, but nothing would have happened unless I got the paint and got the easels and started and self-taught. Yeah, I've read lots of books and studied some stuff, but the studio the same way. And I know that you have things that you've put that kind of effort into. But so often we, we just, we want something to do itself and it isn't going to happen. So if a task seems huge for you, like, oh, I can't do that. And sometimes it's a simple task, like getting up in the, getting out of bed in the morning, especially in the days when you have heavy depression, which is where I came from. Maybe you just put your foot on the floor. I got it done. And we just, little chunks. I said it, I did it. I said it, I did it. I said it, I did it. That's way better than, than trying to do something this big and not starting. Let me say that one more time. Continually setting goals and not starting is damaging, painful to both the project, it'll never get done, but more to your self-esteem and to your confidence. So much rather shrink it really small and say, I said it, I did it. 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 And then you create the habit of getting it done, getting it finished, completed, f done, even if it's just a tiny done. And when you string all those together, then pretty soon you have something done, and something more done, and something more done, and pretty soon you're on top of your own Mount Everest. Don't stop. Don't give up. Move forward. Let this be your encouragement. You're not alone. In any struggle that you have, you're not. Let's get it together. Let me help you. Let's get it done. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the videos. Take this opportunity, leave a comment, subscribe most of all, and don't forget to spread the word about this channel.